Okay, today what we're going to be doing is creating a graph. Uh, we've already learned how to create a graph. And now that we're going to review um, in a creative way how to create your own custom graph. First of all, you're going to increase the percentage to around 2 or 250 percent so you can view it a little bit better. Make sure that it is in normal view. And in A2, I want you to write a question. Uh, we're going to create surveys today. Uh, write a question that you are very curious about. Uh, for example, <laughs> sorry, uh, do it in A1. In A1. So, uh, for example, what is your favorite fast food place? <laughs> okay. I didn't see it. Uh, skip a line and in A3, you're going to put name. Okay. This is where this uh, person's name is going to go. For example, you're going to be the first one to take your survey, so go ahead and put your name in A4. Then go back to B3 and you're going to type in your first answer choice. I'm going to type in Burger King. In C3, I'm going to put in McDonald's. In D3, I'm going to put in Subway. And in E3, I'm going to put in KFC. Okay. Now, since these are headers, I want you to change your alignment and your spacing. Okay, so change your alignment and spacing to, uh, well, first of all, you might want to increase the font a little bit, bold them, you can change the font if you'd like to, and then I'm going to shade it uh, like a green, okay? Now, resize them. What I usually do is try to find the one with the longest word. So Burger King is probably my longest word. So I'm going to resize it. Highlight B through E and uh, resize it to fit Burger King. And it will resize all of them to be the exact same size. Now, what I'm going to do is put free cell or freeze panes. So go to window. Uh, and freeze panes and what and make sure when you freeze the panes it's let's see window unfreeze panes make sure you highlight and it'll freeze the panes above it so highlight uh, a4 and then now it'll freeze my pain so if I have a long list of names and I scroll down uh, you'll always see the header Now, uh, usually people put an X or something to mark which one they want, but we're going to graph it to get results. For example, we want to know like there was like five people at the end of it who decided Burger King. For example, I'm going to use a 1 instead of an X because let's say Esther chooses uh, Subway 1 and so on. And then um, let's see. Because when we're finished, we're going to hit uh, total, and then you're going to use the sum function to get the total of all of these and hit enter, and you're going to drag that ac across to copy the equation, and then notice we have our totals. But we won't do totals yet because you don't know how many people you're going to survey yet, but I'm just showing you why we're going to put one. because. Let's say Esther chose Burger King instead. Notice now the total is two on the bottom. So what I want you to do is uh, go around the room and you're going to uh, go clockwise, like go down the aisle. So you'll, um, 
Isabel will go to the front and everyone will go left and then take the survey uh, amongst yourselves and uh, just write in your name. You guys don't need to write in everyone's name uh, for right now, but when you go to take the person's survey, write your name and then a one with the choice that they want. Also, go ahead and center your uh, text and your numbers. Remember, command E is center. And then E is an elephant. And it should be okay. So go ahead and do that. Um, after you're finished, you should have a bunch of uh, numbers scattered here and there and everywhere. So you guys should be going around the room taking the surveys. I'll give you about five minutes to do that. So stand up and go across. Um, when you're finished, um, try to keep it down, please. When you're finished, what you're going to do is highlight the titles and then you. Okay, here we go. Now, you should have your results with your names on the left side. And you have your totals. Now, for your totals, usually you have a double line uh, that separates your content from your totals. So, we're going to do that. So go ahead and go get the toolbar. So go to view, toolbars, and border drawing. And then you're going to choose the double border, this one. And then, then you're going to click on this button here to draw the border and draw it underneath the totals. Okay. Hit escape to get out of the border drawing and let's go ahead and bold our totals as well so they're distinct and there we go. Can we use that formula for some? Yes, so you should have totals here and you should uh, go up here to auto sum and hit sum and then you should highlight all of your answer choices for that column hit enter then click and drag it over to the right and you should copy the formulas down then try change somebody like try change your answer choice so take out Burger King and then I'll put in KFC instead and notice at the bottom this this will change to three and that's back to five okay and then to undo it uh, command Z on a Mac so now we're going to graph our results. So we're going to highlight our uh, headings. And we're going to hit hold down the command key and highlight the results, the totals. Because this is the only two pieces of information we need to make our graph. We do not need everyone's answer choices. We just need the, the totals. So when you're finished with that, uh, so highlight both of them. Go to charts and choose either a column chart or a, a row chart. So one of these or one of these. You can choose the design that you want. Uh, we just have one set of data, so you wouldn't want to use like uh, see these two. You wouldn't need that. You would only need one. So I'm gonna use. The cylind cylinders. Okay, you guys got it? So you should have your chart.